there we go girl um my skin is coming along um there's a number of things i've been doing differently the number one is changing up my products um but i need to really be consistent with my skin regimen and i need to work on my diet that comes into play um and I, i'm sorry i don't care what anyone, anybody says genetics is a big one too um but i started really paying attention to my skin and working on my skin regimen in my 20s because in my 20s i was going into an office setting i worked for corporate america ever since i've never not worked for corporate america so i always dolled myself up and for me, I like makeup, so I was wearing a lot of makeup. Um, not to say you you have to do that, but that's what I chose to do. And so I really wanted to make sure that I was taking care of my skin early on. Things switched up a little bit in my 30s. I got lazy there, there toward my mid 30s. I'm 39, I'll be turning 40 in a couple more months. Girl, yes, 40, coming out. Um, and so I noticed recently though, that I'm having some issues with texture, meaning my, my skin almost looks like, um, I mean, it looks textured. You can see ridges and stuff, and it's just not looking all that great. My pores are looking a lot better lately, and my skin looks bright and healthy lately, but I just have to keep it up. So let me show you guys what I've been using, y'all. This this hurts, let me get back on my flat. On my, um, I can't be on my tippy toes the entire time. In no particular order, and I do have a lot of stuff, you guys, and it's kind of sad, but I've also ordered more things. Um, don't judge me. You can judge me. I don't care. Yeah, I'm trying to find something to lift this thing up on. So, one thing that I make sure I do is I have face wipes. This is no particular brand. This is like a Dollar Tree brand, retinol. When I wear makeup, I make sure to remove my makeup. That is very, very important. Have that. I use Witch Hazel as a toner. This is deep cleansing, um, paraben free, cleans pores uh, with eucalyptus. And um, yeah, I use Diluted Witch Hazel. This is the Dickinson's brand that I just get from Walmart. Again, in no particular order, I have tea tree oil here. Um, I tend to dilute it, but sometimes I get in a hairy and I just use just a little bit in dots where my skin is have some acne spots. Speaking of tea tree oil, a couple of weeks ago, I purchased this generic value product from Sally's Beauty Supply, Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Body Bar, but I use this for my face. So far, so good. Um, I do have a block of uh, black soap, which honestly is awesome. A block of black soap. I have no idea what I did with it, but I know I have it somewhere around the house. Bior Charcoal Deep Pore Cleanser. I love this stuff. This is in my rotation. We have CeraVe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. Sorry, y'all. And this is with an acid. Salicylic, salicylic acid. Y'all know, y'all know. I can't pronounce anything. It's really good to have a certain percentage, and you don't, you don't want a lot. You don't want your face burning um, for your skin. I have vitamin C oil. I purchased this on like at like Ross or something, but sometimes I also get it through um amazon yeah i have to excuse my nails girl look i'm been they're gel nails and i'm almost done taking them off they are crazy to remove i've never had to remove gel nails and it's a process tina and tom are shut down plus they heart tina and tom are my nail technicians i have lactic acid by the ordinary 10 percent now let me tell you something I use this stuff only two times a week because one is 10%. They have it at different percentages. This is pretty high, but I'm like, I got to tackle this stuff. I don't use it every day. I would not recommend using it every day. I don't use all of this stuff together every day either, okay? Um, I also have the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for three different um, acids. And yeah, this is just a little sample that I got from Target. I believe I got that. 
as far as facial scrubs i like to use lately i've been using this exfoliating pad that was sent to me by um red by kiss really really cute i also have um scent ives i have their pink lemon mandarin orange scrub i also have a green tea scrub by them as far as treatment goes, spot treatments, I use the tea tree oil and I have just acne medication just off brand from um, Walmart. I don't know if you guys saw these face scrubs. I do these once a week or as needed, okay? And then I have, this is awesome, by Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Cleansing Mask. And last but not least, I have, just a second, I have Aztec Clay. Now, I use this stuff way more often on my skin, as, and I don't even use it. That I, I can honestly say I probably use this once every three months or so, because to me, it acts like a deep, deep cleansing. So, I use this way more than I put it on my hair, definitely. So, yeah, you guys, that's what I've been using. That's what I'm going to continue to use. My moisturizer. Why did y'all tell me? For the longest, I've been using this St. Ives Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer. So, that is it, you guys. Let me just put this stuff back in here, y'all. I have the stuff in my guest bedroom. Um, today was interesting. It got better, way better than it was yesterday, girl. We, I, y'all, I felt so bad for my baby being an only child. He is a little bit lonely, <clears throat> and he's been asking to FaceTime more so with his friends. And let me tell you something. That one little boy that kept calling, one of his friends purposely was hanging up on him. And I was like, what's, I got on the phone. I'm like, what's the problem? And so JB was getting sad. JB doesn't, he don't be taking up for himself. I said, what is the problem, JB? And he's like, well, he's hanging up on me because he can't play his video games. So then the little brat, yeah, I said it. The little brat kept calling today by accident. But JB got excited because at one point he connected and he connected to where he could see all of us. Don't you know this little boy saw us? And he was like, oh, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to call y'all. Bye. My child's heart, the, the look on his face, I felt so bad for him. So then the mom texts me. She's like, well, I, I'm sorry, you know, is, is JB ready? Is he available to speak? I said, no, your son kept calling and hanging up on us. And there was one point where they actually connected. We Because they're on FaceTime, y'all. I'm like, the babies could see each other. And he just hung up on them saying, oh, I, I didn't, I didn't need, I meant to call someone else. Like, they're kids, but still, don't, don't. So, I so she told me she said, "Well, that was an accident." So I told JB, I said, "Well, baby, he accidentally hung up on, on you." He said, "No, he didn't." JB said, "No, he didn't. That wasn't an accident." I believe JB. So, <clears throat> girl, what's the point? Someone else was like, "Yeah, have your son call. I'll have you know my son call you guys." And so it was good to talk to her. Um, they spoke for about twenty minutes, and so I basically had to reach out to my Facebook family, friends, and family, and just people I know who have kids that are JB Asian. It was like, "Is anyone? Can anyone please call my baby? Because <laughs> he misses interaction with other children, and they had a good time." So I'll be probably doing that on a weekly basis, finding some kids to um for him to speak to um and I, of course my nieces and nephews are there but girl oh they be giving me a headache so, <laughs> no they're sweet and yeah y'all it is what it is you know it's really i've spoken to several people who have unfortunately lost their jobs and it's really disheartening you guys i was i was so so upset yesterday like down in the dumps and depressed that's why I didn't really want to get on cam um especially after the, after the morning we were having I was like I'm not coming back on because I don't want to have that type of energy and you guys pick up on that and I don't I know y'all did anyway but yeah I spoke to a couple of people and just my homeboy in um he's in Manchester he lost his job he just got that job he lost it <clears throat> and then I call um, the restaurant that I go to. I used to go to with my co-workers a lot to check up on them. We were, we've been going to that spot for almost 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, almost 10 years. Come to find out, they let go of almost 
everybody. The restaurant is still open, mind you. They are doing um, to-go curbside delivery, like I'm sure a lot of restaurants are doing. But they basically was like, we don't need to have a bartenders. We don't need to have waiter waitresses. We don't. I'm like, what? So I'm like, um, <laughs> that really that that really messed me up, you know, because that that was a full day of people that I've heard who are now, you know, being released from their jobs. I'm pretty sure some of you know of people who have lost their jobs. Then the, the kicker was when I saw at least I don't have a lot of people on my friends list on Facebook. Within 48 hours, I saw at least three posts from people who now have the coronavirus. They're all doing well, they're all doing good, but that's just scary. Had a meeting with my manager today. She's in charge of the business continuity plan um, for the company as it relates to the coronavirus. And she basically was like, <laughs> for lack of better words, she basically was like, I have to identify key people, critical people, and ensure that we know what their uh, top tasks are just in case you're out with the virus. I'm like, oh, hell, let's get, because y'all have to understand, I'm in healthcare IT, and we get news, the powers to be get information fast, and they are anticipating, and they are anticipating for a lot of people to come down with this virus. We do not have a herd immunity for this for this virus. And those of you in the in the medical field, you know what I'm referring to. Unlike the, the flu and the different strains of flu that we've had before that have been around for a while. Yes, the coronavirus has been around, but not at the extent that we're seeing it right now in the U.S. So may, by next year, it'll be better, but Right now, it's gonna get worse. That's just the, you know. So my manager was like, we have identified your role as a critical role. So we need for you to go through all your SOPs, make sure they're up to date. We need to identify backups for you. I'm like, girl, I'm, I said, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. I'm not going anywhere. Um, so. Yesterday, I started to prepare some paper towels for making some um, Clorox wipes. Now, I was able to get some disinfectant wipes wipes two weeks ago and I always had disinfectant spray and I have always keep on hand some bleach now I know I have a little container of bleach somewhere in this house I cannot find it you guys I have no idea where it's at so I'll keep looking for it but honestly you don't need a lot of bleach when you're disinfecting stuff so like a cap full to a gallon of water is enough so I'm gonna make some DIY um what am I trying to say? Wipes here, but I need to find, this is not big enough. I need to find something to completely um, cover these wipes so they, they don't dry out. But I also, in the morning, one of the first things I do when my husband gets back, because we're not going anywhere. The only places we go is that we need to go get something to eat. That is it. Um, so he's going to work still. So one of the first things I do when I get up is I disinfect all the doorknobs, everything that I know he's going to touch. And then when he gets up, I disinfect our bedroom. I'm not playing. Oh, y'all. I've been doing... Oh, hell, girl. <laughs> Earth to mama. I set the dang on thing on the... Uh, what do you call this thing, y'all? The diffuser. Um... I'm going to start working out today because I saw myself in some videos and I look a hot ass mess. But anyway, y'all, we ain't going to be talking about that every, every day on vlog. I have been doing some serious shopping. When I tell you and what's been pissing me off, it, okay, Vivian, what has been upsetting is that, oh, I shouldn't say upsetting. What is making it worse is a lot of these places accept quiet pay now. We don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. Like yesterday, I was on Children's Place. They don't accept quad play. I was on ASOS, ASUS. They accept quad pay for everything. And don't y'all know they they actually sell um, beauty products? Oh, that's that's the problem. They sell beauty products. They sell uh, hair accessories, uh, flat irons, um, shoes, clothes. No, but I only got like forty dollars worth of stuff. Um, DSW has crazy sales. Like I got a bunch of pumps for twelve, fifteen dollars. So yeah, I've easily spent about a hundred. I don't think this is bad. I spent about a hundred and fifty dollars yesterday on stuff. Um, I'm doing some. 
thought I heard something. I'm doing some emotional shopping. So y'all up this up early this morning working, but I came across my perfect dream job. I saw the hold on, let me turn on this music. Um one of the things I like to do in my I've always liked to do in my positions for the past 10 years, honestly, is process improvement. Um, process mapping. So there was a job that came up in my inbox from LinkedIn that was just that process mapping, working remotely. Um, what I learned to do is to take, if I'm interested in a position, to look at the responsibilities, go to do a job search. Don't apply for the job if you're not qualified for a girl, but look and see what's required and try to gain that skill set within the next two or three years. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, y'all. Um, I'll try to take y'all with me to the store, but I don't want to. Now, I'm not I'm not wearing gloves to the store. I have seen so many people. Look, you got to be careful. Y'all know when you wear those latex gloves, you can't be touching everything unless you switching gloves four or five times in a grocery store, leave those gloves at home. So instead I use a Clorox wipe. I walk around with my wipe. If I need to touch a door to get my milk, Clorox wipe. Then I use a hand sanitizer. Anything I got, if I got to touch the self checkout, I'm not going through self checkout. I will wait 20 minutes for you to ring me up. I'm not doing self checkout right now. I just let them ring me up. Right. But I saw a picture of someone with, uh wipes uh gloves on eating chips you eating chips waiting in line with your gloves on you're done you touch everything in the store and now you're putting your um infected chips in your mouth <laughs> bless his heart so but i do wear this mask i am gonna be wearing this mask um we're good we're good so i wrote down his his assignments came in earlier and i wrote down some things and again we separate things in three blocks with time in between. I noticed that the later we start, the better it is for him. Like yesterday, we started at 10.30. We were done by 12. Um, it's also good for him to do a lot of activities in the morning. So in the morning, we do a little bit of stretching. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna pray together this morning. I also created a set of rules that I have here for, for him, almost like, I don't know. I don't want to say guidelines. Almost like a mantra. So we repeat. There's just three of them. I have him to read them every day. This will be our third time doing this. Um, and that's been working. So hey, you guys. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm all off key. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Oh, Lord, y'all. I just looked at my last vlog. That was so depressing towards the end, but that was real life. I honestly contemplated whether or not I wanted to even include that footage, but it was a, it was a struggle last week. It really was. Now, this week has been, we're going towards the end. The end of that vlog was the beginning of this week. We're going towards the end of this week where they have adjusted some of the work. And so it was, it's, it's okay now that it's Friday. Friday, they have reduced the assignments drastically so that we can catch up basically. So I got up early and sorry, I started to do some things at work, but you know what? Last night I attended a live with a man named Cal. Kyle, y'all know I'm country, Kyle Winker, but he basically, he, he's a very, um, uh, how do I put it? He's, he's, he's a very no nonsense type of preacher, but he also, um, preaches the word of God. He preaches the gospel. And one thing that, but he almost has like a Joel Osteen approach to it. But unlike Joel Osteen, who doesn't preach the gospel in my opinion, Joel Osteen is very lukewarm. He's very kumbaya-ish and you can't be like that, honestly, especially in times like this. And so this guy, Cal, was like, um, y'all run it. Basically, in other words, y'all are, you know, I understand you're in fear. You're struggling with fear. You're struggling with anxiety. And the one thing that hasn't changed is the word of God. So to combat this fear, to get past this struggle, you need to stand on the word of God. Because that's the one thing that is still as unchanged and will never 
Um, we would never change, honestly. But one thing he said that, that really struck with me was that what if God is using this as an opportunity for you to step into your purpose? Because we really have no distractions now. Yeah, we doing some, you know, our, our lifestyle may change if our kids are at home, but we can't go anywhere. Most, some of us can't go into an office to work. We are limited to, you know, our surroundings, if, we're on, if our cities are on lockdown, we're limited on where we can go. That forces you to be still and stay in place. Hey, you guys, it is the weekend. Look, I am emotionally drained. I've been looking at sad. I don't know why I do this. I've been looking at videos that make me cry. What do you have your phone for? I've been looking at videos that make me cry, y'all. I'm okay. So we are on our way to the grocery store. I'm going to try to get as many groceries as possible. Possible. Because I don't want to go again until the end of next week. Wait, we how do you have... turn this thing on? JB, it's probably... JB, it's supposed to be left on the charger. The charger is dead. Let me charge it up while we're in the car, too. Give it here. Oh, is it working? Yes. Okay. So, my husband is like... I was telling my husband, I'm like... I ordered some more face masks because the masks we have, um, they're not good. He's like, what happened to all those masks I bought... A couple of months ago I'm like we opened up one of those when we went to Texas and then yeah, we have well, we didn't even use them I just opened them up he's like you can still use those so we have these regular N95 masks and then I have this mask here but then I have a other mask here that has a coffee filter in it and he's like I said I can't I've already used this hey I'm talking <laughs> basically my husband's saying just use anything don't worry about it. if it's old you just use it you know it's better than nothing at all as I stated before you I guys I I do have some masks coming in that I ordered I'm gonna go ahead and share that information oh, well face masks we're gonna put these on we're gonna go to the store we're gonna pray JB JB what we have to help us when we go to the store what what do we have on our side to help us when we go to the store Besides my antibacterial soap, my, um, my, uh, what do you call my antibacterial lotion and my wipes, what did you say that we have when we go to the store now to protect us? Jesus of the cross and the whole world. You, got, you gotta have that. <laughs> the water. He said the Jesus, the Jesus of the cross and the holy. And the holy. That. Out of the mouths of babes. That's right. Y'all, the first time he said that, I said, what? Because I, I was getting my stuff together going to the store, right? I said, I got my antibacterial. I got my, I got my face mask. He said, and you got Jesus on the cross. Said, Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So, Hold on, baby. Let me close so the door. Y'all can't see me, but it's about to get real bright. About to get real, uh, what do you call it? Real divorce up in here. And face I'm Evans. Go ahead, baby. And then we're gonna do some chalk type of Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure that this. Fold. You ain't gonna fall, sweetheart. Yeah, it's so pretty out here. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look, y'all, we ain't, we avoiding people even at the park. So, but we're gonna go down in the big area, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> 